In Ashcroft's early years, the caribou people were served by travelling doctors. Doc Sanson was one of these, and he had an office in Lillooet, Ashcroft and Clinton. The nearest hospital being Quinell, Doc Sanson soon began lobbying for a hospital in Ashcroft. In March of 1912, the Board of Trade appointed a hospital committee. In August, land was donated by the Inland Agricultural Association. By February 1913, after a number of donations were acquired by government and by the public, the building of the hospital was put to tender. Robert Stoddart of Ashcroft was the successful bidder and announced that construction would commence as soon as weather permitted. By July, the building was almost complete. The Victorian Order of Nurses made a perpetual loan of $2,000 without interest, provided the hospital remain an affiliate with the order and it be named Lady Minto. Ashcroft Lady Minto Hospital was one of 43 hospitals built from funds established by Lady Minto and the Victorian Order of Nurses. These funds were provided to build cottage hospitals in remote parts of Canada. The hospital officially opened August 8, 1913. The three private wards and a public ward were furnished by the local businessmen. At the time of the opening, all the wards were filled to capacity. The first baby was born August 16, 1913, a daughter to Mrs. J. Wardell of Clinton. Believe it or not, between se September 7 and September 8, 1913, five babies were born, all boys included, including the twins of Mr. and Mrs. Charles Odstead. Great excitement filled the town in 1944 when triplets were born to the Brown family of Clinton. The hospital directors put on many, many money-raising events in the early days, dances, socials, as did the Women's Hospital Auxiliary, which formed in 1913 and had an affiliate in Clinton as well as other organizations in Ashcroft, Clinton and Cache Creek. The Old Lady Minto survived the Great Fire of 1916, weathered two world wars, a depression and the deadly 1918 flu. The hospital did close briefly between 1926 and 1930 due to lack of money. During this time, Bertha Pocock was running a nursing home and several patients were treated there by the doctors and Bertha. The Lady Minto reopened in 1930 under a new system and in 1938 a couple more rooms were added including a nurse's quarter. By the late 1940s, the citizens realized the need for a bigger hospital and again the rumbling started. By 1954, a new addition was added. Construction of this building began and in May of 1956, the new wing of the Lady Minto was officially opened. The late 50s embraced one of the busiest eras of the hospital. Pediatrics had 10 to 12 children in at all times. Patients were kept in corridor, corridors and surgery went on all day. This situation eased a little with the opening of the hospital at Hundred Mile House. The opening of Bethlehem and Lornex added once again to Ashcroft's growing population. A new modern, up-to-date hospital opened on April the 29th, 1972. In 1981, the old Beatty Minto Hospital, which was simply sitting empty, was destroyed by fire. The 1956 edition was salvageable with only minimal damage and today the wing is currently used by a senior citizens group and Elizabeth Fry Society. Shortly after, office quarters were built in the empty space and in 1987 the village of Ashcroft moved in. Today this space is still used by the village of Ashcroft and the Ashcroft and District Healthcare Auxiliary Thrift Store is located in the basement.